Dewinter syndrome was described as a new ECG sign of total occlusion of proximal left anterior descending coronary artery in 2008 by Robert J. Dewinter and colleagues. Instead of the ST segment elevation, which is typical of anterior wall infarction due to total occlusion of LAD, Dewinter and associates described anterior ST segment depression. This was noted in 2% of the LAD total occlusions. Dewinter syndrome can be considered as a STEMI equivalent. Early recognition and prompt management by revascularization is desirable. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. Lynn and colleagues have documented that same patient can have evolution of ECG changes between that of Dewinter syndrome and STEMI. They demonstrated this in two cases. An ECG with typical features showing upsloping ST segment depression in anterior leads with tall symmetric T waves and loss of precordial R wave progression was reported by Martine Losas and Associates. Their patient underwent angioplasty with drug eluting stent. Though initially described for anterior leads and LAD occlusion, other authors have extended the findings to other leads and coronary territories. Sutsumi and colleagues demonstrated ST segment depression from the J point, continuing as symmetrical positive T waves in inferior and lateral leads. Coronary angiography showed acute total occlusion of right coronary artery for which angioplasty and stenting was done. In another report by Sunbull and Associates, ST segment elevations in leads AVR, AVL, V1 and V2 and ST depressions in leads 2, 3 AVF and V3 to V6 at the J point was associated with total occlusion of left main coronary artery. Here are the initial few references for D. Winter syndrome. The remaining references are here. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.